All right, putting LA missions is the worst decision ever. This is one way of looking at the entire situation. Some people just hate it. In fact, a lot of people just hate it. And I want to tell you guys, that's okay. You can feel what you want to feel. It's valid. There are many reasons to substantiate your feelings and and you know whatever it is, your, your opinions on the entire situation. I'm right there with you. I don't necessarily agree with this. I think that Live Arena, uh, specifically with matchmaking and with raid bots and with the timer, there's like a whole list of things that could be better with Live Arena. But uh, I know I'm going to get some people telling me that uh, I can be too negative. So I found another post here that talks about the Live Arena hate where it's more positive, um, where people are basically saying, hey, uh, why are you complaining so much about this one thing? There's other things in the game. Um, why don't you just leave the game if not? Um, and, th you know, the entire situation here is there's always going to be people on both sides of the spectrum. But I've never been one to tell you, the viewer, the listener, on how to feel about certain situations. If you want to feel a certain way, that's cool. If you want to disagree with it, that's cool too. But I'm never going to tell you how you should feel or how you should think. I think that's fucked up. I think that's immature. And I don't, I, sh I, I just don't, I should have don't like it. I have a win rate of 54%, but still, on some days, I get four, five, six, seven losses in a row. I just did Live Arena. I'm doing a big Live Arena video. I got like 10 losses in a row. Maybe not 10, but I feel this. I feel this string of losses. Maybe it's not exactly 10. Maybe, maybe it was more like... Maybe I'm paying more attention to the losses, and that's probably what's going on. But it can be frustrating when you lose so many times, and then you get one win, but you move on to the next one. So then it becomes just a me problem. You know what I mean? It becomes a you problem. Maybe you're not actually losing four to seven times in a row. And I guess I can kind of take a look at to see what my last, my, my log here is uh, to see if that, that tracks. Okay, so we have wins here. We have wins here. Yeah, so a string of losses, a string of wins, a loss, a string of wins. On my other account, it was, it was kind of the opposite. It looked the opposite way. Where it was like a bunch of losses, a win, a bunch of losses, a win. And that's just the way that it is. You really know how to kill any desire in people to keep on playing. And I feel that. Oh, I, I missed this line. I neither have the time nor will I go through this shit just so I can complete my advanced missions. I feel the frustration too, because when you start losing multiple times in a row, it's extremely demo uh, demotivating. And there's nothing wrong with feeling that. You, you, you get a sort, you get a sense of learned behavior where it's just, it gets, it gets to the point where it's like, oh, okay, well, what's the point of me doing live arena if I know I'm just gonna keep losing? More so if you're trying to get the free energy, the quote unquote free energy from the advanced quest, because you're technically what, missing out on 180 energy. To complete advanced quests, you get um, 120, then you get 50 from doing your live arena wins. So I get it. And then if you get into situations like this, where you're fighting this guy who has probably like nine plat, plat trophies, and then um, all these high ranking live arena opponents, I get you. I understand, I'm right there with you. Tag Team used to be the worst advanced quest to complete, now it's Live Arena. Flarium is forcing us to do content we hate so much so we can complete quest, and this is lowering the quality of gameplay. I don't bother doing my advanced quests anymore. I, I just don't. It that's just the me thing. You know, the argument is, for one end, oh, uh, I love my wife. One argument is, Burrito, you're a content creator, you get a bunch of energy and, and a bunch of other, other resources in game. True. Uh, one argument I have to that is you could do it too. I'm just saying that it's there for you too. Now that's not a good argument, I know, because a lot of you guys just don't have that that want of uh, doing what I do. And that's totally fine. I'm not pressuring that on you. Other thing is, do you really think it's worth fighting for 180 energy? Like, is 180 energy worth it? This is my counter argument to you if you're stressing over 180 energy. Is it really worth it? stressing over doing live arena and tag team arena and then whatever other bullshit they have in here just so you can get 180 energy really think about it if the answer is yes if you're willing to to stress for the, the next like two hours or so or however you want to call it to get your wins in i already did the thing because i was uh, i did my live arena but like that's just that's just how you you have to you know gauge the situation as a whole the other thing that i've started to realize doing enough live arena battles is i've noticed a pattern when people are in the drafting process and they take a long time to choose their champions, usually the behaviors that I see in the actual fight are reflective of how they play in the drafting process. What am I saying? Let me try to break it down. The way that they play in the draft is the way that they play in the actual fight. So if they're taking 30 seconds to choose a champion because they like to be thoughtful and, and you know there's nothing wrong with that, you know, I have something else to say about that. But it's like if they if they want to take their time thinking about their their choices, 
in the drafting process versus me where it's just like boom bing bang bam let's get it um not that i'm better i just i have a different play style and that's the type of person that i want to pair up with so i can get this shit over with but usually that's how they they act in the actual fight they're gonna take like 10 15 the entire turn meter sometimes to make a decision even when they're on full even when they're locked down completely even when they're locked down completely and they can't do anything else except a one they will still take the time to, to think who they're gonna hit with their with their duchess or their pythion you, you know what i mean like it doesn't make any sense you can only do one thing why are you thinking about who you're gonna hit i have all of my team i've got everybody up here near full health why are you thinking about who you're gonna hit you know what i mean so yeah you can see here i didn't even choose champions i saw that they were taking like 15 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds and i left which is a good thing right one it's good for me because i'm not sitting here stressing about them taking the time up i already know that if i go into a fight and they were quick with their picks so the, these guys these three were quick with their picks and then i even fought i am chuck again again he was quick with his pick so re mad respect to i am chuck um but like i i know and i i saw this and and when i come out with that that big live arena video uh you'll you'll see and i'll talk about it again even further it's like they make their their moves uh quick fast and in a hurry and i like people like that um and i think it's interesting that i was able to uh, find that connection the behaviors that they have in the drafting process and how it I guess perseverates into the way that they behave when they're in the live arena fight itself. If you're the type of person who likes to take their time with your drafting picks and uh, taking your time and being thoughtful for, uh, with all your moves, that's cool. I'm not telling you that you can't play the way that you want to play. You play how you want to play, but I'm just saying uh, for me, I don't want to play with that type of person because it takes way too much time. It's not my play style. Now there's pros and cons to it. There's always going to be arguments against it. There's always going to be disagreements. I don't care. This is the way that I am. You're the way that you are. You do your thing. There's people like Shiny, who I'm being told, who obviously he's like one of the best live arena players or just PVPers that I that I can think of. And it works out for him, but you know, it's just it's just not really for me to to go through that fight. One, I wouldn't fight Shiny because two, or because it's one, it's him, and then two, because it's it's just gonna be a slow fight and it's gonna kind of stress me out. And the other thing about that, my other argument is, if you're already in gold one, two, three, maybe maybe not so much gold one because you're still probably le learning, but if you're in gold two and gold three, you already know, you should already know, because you've been doing this, you're all the way up here already, you, you already know who your who your picks are. You're using the same 16 champions, the same eight champions. So what are you doing thinking about who you're going to pick? Like you should have the experience unless you're one of those guys who just AFKs and you don't actually learn how to play the game or, or you know, whatever excuse you want to come up with to make yourself feel better. You, you know, you should just know what you're going to do. That way, you know, okay, this is who I'm picking. That's who I'm picking. When they pick that, I'll just pick this to counter it. Like it's, it should be quick, fast, and in a hurry. Granted, I already have Marius, so I don't really have to worry about trying to get so many live arena fights. And eventually you're going to get here. So maybe when you get to this point, you'll be more comfortable with just leaving fights and just handing out those W's to, to other players. But it's a win-win situation. If you come across me, then just take 15 seconds. More than likely, I'm going to just leave the match and you get a free win. Good for you. Good for me. You get your win, I get my time back. When enough people drop out of the game, maybe they'll learn. I hate Live Arena, I never played it, but even one battle a day is better than five Tag Team Arena battles. Five Live Arenas would be a lot worse, but I prefer one over five. Then again, I'm high gold 3v3, only silver for Live Arena. TTA is still way worse? What do you guys think? Is Tag Team Arena worse or Live Arena worse? This could be solved if they changed it to just play a game of Live Arena. Yeah. Or play three games to ensure we spend the time in the mode. But then people would just go in and go out and leave. But that's kind of the same thing that I do with Tag Team Arena. Or it got, I don't do it anymore, but when I was just trying to get my advanced quest done, uh, done, done, I would just go into Tag Team and I would just leave. I would, I would find the same guy, go in, leave, go in, go in, and leave. Polarium is happy with this because they're forcing you to engage with the content. All these people who are spenders or long-time free to players are able to dump on you, but then get dumped on a bigger spender, which motivates them to spend or grind more. This is a good argument. For an example, I was receiving multiple back shots in Live Arena, and it got to the point where I, in my head, I was like, maybe I could just spend some money to get some primal shards, and maybe I can get these mythical champions too. Y you know what I mean? But no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Gold 3 and above should get a complete Live Arena battle mission instead. Matchmaking does not throw free wins to players who are already above Quintus like it does for silver or low gold. I don't know. I still feel like after the, every three or four losses, I get, I get a, a free win. 
maybe not a straight silver bot, meaning, and I don't mean the bot where people go in and they have a bot pick all their champions and pick their moves for them and they're just AFK. That's a separate thing. But uh, silver bots or bots in under gold live arena are basically copies of other people's teams. And it's that that is an actual bot. Low gold underdeveloped accounts. Yeah, I doubt they'll change it. Probably not. Uh, let's see. I would. It would be nice. It would be a nice gesture to not punish the player base that was already active in Live Arena to begin with. I have zero issues with Live Arena matchmaking. The game tries the best to keep you at 50% win rate. What I've been doing is winning the first five, then forfeiting the rest. The game will give you easier matchups that way. Yeah. I still won't touch Live Arena. It's garbage pay to win. Worst of the PvP options. At least in classic, people are there to grind Arbiter or the or the Great Hall. But then that's not a good argument. Because grinding Marius is a thing, and grinding the, what do you call it? The live arena air, arena bonuses. This is still a grind, right? If you want to really max things out and do good in Hydra. I'm not doing Hydra anymore. Or do well, I said do good. Ice Golem, Fire Knight, it helps. And Centronos is probably where I'm going to put my tokens in. You can let me know where you're putting your tokens in. LA is the opposite. It exists for whales to flex with lineups that most players won't ever earn. Putting it into missions is just more brain rot decision making from a developer that forgot a game is supposed to be enjoyable. You honestly couldn't be more wrong. You're speaking as if you know what you're talking about, even though you said you don't even play the game mode. That's a good argument. How can you know if you don't play it? Right? The Kraken pay to win teams are still sitting at the top of G4, a million miles away from anywhere you'll ever be. That's not entirely true because I fought against um, this guy who has, let me zoom in here, who has, you know, nine plat trophies and uh, not necessarily the highest live arena thing, but he's got nine plat trophies. He's even got the avatar. To me, that's impressive. So I don't necessarily think that they all stay millions of miles away from you. I, I feel like sometimes you just get that kind of match and it's not exactly the best thing. I feel like those kinds of guys need their own gold five or platinum live arena section. We're outclassed. You're entitled to an opinion doesn't mean it's gospel. Absolutely. Getting to gold five and farming medals for haul and missions in California as a less than one year free to play player is a cakewalk because it's entirely possible to do so with very little effort due to the nature of most of the player base that understands it's a boring grind and posting low man defense teams that allow, yeah, so I, I get where he's going. Dude literally playing live arena to a 5k rating then complains that he has to do live arena. This Reddit sometimes. Uh, live arena was added more than a year ago. I used to do it often in the past. Now I do it once or twice a week when I'm in the mood. I feel it, it's time consuming and it's not something I'm looking forward to doing every day. If I don't have the time during the day to wait for a good live arena match, it means I won't complete the advanced quest, which, mean, which means I might as well skip all the advanced quests. And at that point, I might just stop playing the game. Exactly, see? How many people are leaving raid? How many people are playing less? A lot. Because I still get that question. I'm still getting questions like, how many people are actually leaving the game? Like, dude, come on. Unpopular opinion, this has made me do Live Arena more and I actually quite enjoy it. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, good for you. Uh, it, there's still fun to be had, right? We're, we're gonna be positive because, you know, people want to be positive as well. And that's, you know, we're gonna cater to them as well. Since the addition of the new advanced quests win one Live Arena match, many people voiced their opinion. Live Arena sucks because it takes way too long. I would ask them what content they like in this game and what's the reason they play this game. To me, Live Arena is the place where you can actually play the game, unless you're one of those botters or AFKers. Not just fight against a power crept dungeon over and over again, nor the place where you fight against AI set by other players. Drafting is a boring slow process, only to be wiped out by someone who clearly outmatches you and that's not fun. Hydra lets you use the largest pool of champions to get the most synergy out of all these characters we shoot for. To me, that's why the Hydra change was controversial, con controversial and I personally hate it. Only the top players were competing against each other, the rest of us were competing against ourselves to take it higher. At first I didn't like being made to do it, as I've only put focus into PvE, but some days I win the first match and sometimes it's like the fifth. I've been lucky and not had people taking the piss with the time, but it's only one day if lucky and if not, the game normally gives you someone new well below your rank. Think the devs will remove it when enough people complain or change to play instead of win. They're not going to change it. Yeah. The aspect of the game I like using is resources at your disposals to come overcome challenges, which I can do at my own pace. Largely AFK on autoplay. It's a long-term project. I have to make the best use.
For me, the matchmaking really bugs me about this game mode. If I had a better team, I feel like I would still get the same amount of wins. My void, my void only free to play with two epics and rares is all 48% win ratio. My main is 51%. I really enjoy getting gear, so dungeons is my sweet spot. I enjoy taking RNG gear, and I try to improve in Hydra. Yeah. Addiction, no other reason. I try it every now and then, get steamrolled. Yep. I agree with the fun part in the challenge. I would also say the learning curve is great in Live Arena, but people AFKing kills all the fun and makes it makes it a toxic experience. It's a time issue for me. I work full time. I'm a single dad. I like to be able to set how many runs I do and put my phone down and do whatever I need to do. I don't care for Arena. Dislike tag. Want it. Hey man, be positive. What area of the game do you actually like? If not, just quit. Armands. The bad thing about actual PvP is you need to wait. I liked Hydra before they decided to blow it up for no good reason. Why can't anybody just say something positive? This was a post about being positive. What do you like about the game? What do you like about the game? Into the thick of it! Into the thick of it!